Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I thought that I'd feature today I'd do a more detailed update on one of my white sapotes. I mean, obviously I'm doing monthly updates, especially on the large one at the beginning of each month, but I thought this merited a short video just to see what's happening with it. Now this is meant to be, this is my white sapote, and it's meant to be Wilson, but there are question marks over it because I don't know how canaris propagate them now i got this one back in september 21 and i presumed that it would be a grafted plant um sorry this label stuck on it i had presumed it would be a grafted plant and i actually thought when i got it it was um the whole the whole of the stem was dead from there to there although there was a shoot coming out here and i was initially of the opinion that probably rather like the avocado I got recently that the grafted section was probably above here and the graft had died and I actually just had a root stock but then I was told by or well, a couple of people offered their opinions that they think there's a possibility that uh, these ones are air layered especially the ones that come from Canarius. Now, the one, the other plant I've got, which is a McDill, has a very, very clear graft on it, um, about two feet above the ground, but there was never any sign of it on this one. But what made me think this might be a an air layer plant is it actually it flowered this uh, early in, sort of late winter, early spring. Now, it's not in the best of health, as you can see. The whole side of the stem had died, and I sort of painted it with a sealer to see if that would heal it enough that the plant would um, recover and, and so far this side here is still looking okay and in fact these new these shoots out the top are now putting out new growth which is quite promising um, it's also produced this sort of what looks like a, you would presume is a sucker from the rootstock However, as I said, this lower section of the plant actually had some flowers on it this spring, which suggests that it's actually um, that it, it is actually an air layer plant, which means that this stem here is as likely to produce flowers as the other stems are. Now it was absolutely smothered in um, scale insect which I've sprayed it, I sprayed it heavily for three or four weeks ago and to be honest all the scale seems to have died off so I think we've beaten the scale insect on it for now it doesn't seem to be fresh anymore it looks like dried out and dead um, I'm just going to trim off any little dead shoots on the end of it because as you can see it's got new growth coming out here there's a mealy bug there so I'm going to give this another spray so there's new shoots coming out there all these buds are breaking out it is outside at the moment and it seems to be perfectly happy outside although we've got some colder weather coming this week there's nothing too horrendous but obviously when you end up when you first get a plant and it's got this kind of damage on the stem you really are fighting a battle for two or three years before the plant recovers enough now if if next year these shoots um, these shoots do flower then i haven't really got to worry about this main stem keeping it alive anyway but um we'll see what happens but i thought i'd do a more detailed update on it as i said i'm going to trim off this a little bit of dead growth there this dead stem here um, keep it well fed i don't think this one needs repotting yet there's plenty of roots on the surface but i think given the size of the plant it'll probably be okay in this pot for another year um, the other one i'm going to up pot because obviously it's got fruits and flowers on it and it needs more root space but as i said i'm going to give this another spray just to make sure if there are any lingering living scale insects and of course things like this little mealy bug here i'll give it a good spray and see if we can get rid of those once and for all and a good feed and hopefully it'll carry on its recovery this uh, this summer and obviously it will feature in updates as well as my larger one that's got flowers and fruits on so that's my hopefully variety um, wilson Range to be seen if it's air layered then it is a wilson and we haven't got to worry so thanks for watching the video please give me a thumbs up welcome to of course uh, share the video subscribe to my channel 
and click on that bell if you want to know when new videos come out so you can see updates on uh, on plants like this white sapote growing here in the UK catch up with you on the next video Brett out for now